Hello everybody and welcome to Inspirational Monday. I am Stephen E coming at you with another video and today's topic is how to solve any problem. Now we, we all go through things in our life and we sometimes look at things on the surface when we should not be looking at that the problem is on the surface. Every problem, every situation, every turmoil, anything even good, anything that you go through has a root. So in order to solve the problem, you have to go to the root. And if you don't go to the root and say if you're a child and something is in that root system when you're young, eventually when you get older, everything starts to show at the surface because we haven't treated the root system. We haven't gone deep enough into the root system in order to solve the problem. Now, sometimes it may be health that you need to go into the root system for, for example, some things are passed to us generationally. We go to the doctors and the doctors will ask you what's your mother's history, what's your father's history, and sometimes they'll even go a little bit further and ask you what's your grandparents' history because the root system, the seed, the root system, okay? So, because sometimes we may have hypertension, diabetes, and sometimes that's passed through the bloodline, meaning generational, and it can also be known as generational curses as we call them in you know in the Christian world but um, if we don't treat the problem at the root system then it's going to cause us problems now for those good roots you want to keep them in the ground so they just keep absorbing that soil and absorbing that moisture and just keep growing and sprouting but for those bad roots you have to dig them up toss them out and clean it all out and replant a new seed in order to get a new root system do you get what i'm saying by planting new seeds now new seeds may be um new inspiration in your life like something that you want to do and if you put the seed there you will eventually see the harvest and the harvest will come to the surface and it's going to show do you get what i mean there so by planting seeds planting new seeds and digging up that old root system because that old root system doesn't work for you that old root system is just causing you havoc that old root system is keeping you from your joy that old root system is causing all this unhappiness now even in the old root system say like um you're going with your spouse and you have these certain behaviors now some of these certain behaviors may be also at the root system because sometimes some of these certain behaviors are learned behaviors sometimes we do things because our mother and father did things our grandmother and grandfather did things and that went into our root system and we did not address it at a certain level but the thing is if you recognize that something is wrong with the root then you can go and you know you can go and dig it up and you can fix it if you address that there's a problem, but sometimes we're just too busy just looking at the surface and we don't go a little bit deeper. Now, I thought of this because this weekend I was working with an actor and we were going through um, script breakdown and I told him to do a backstory on his character because in order for you to play a character, you got to know where they come from. You have to be able to know what's going on and you're bringing things with you when you're doing your scene and all that. So... This character had a history. This character had a mother and father. It may not necessarily be told in the story, but every person has a mother and father. Every person has grandparents. Every person has a root system. So this is why I came up with this topic, because when he was um, doing his script breakdown, he was able to dig up all these amazing things. And I just said, see if you just take it a little bit further as opposed to just reading lines and spitting out lines as an as a actor. If you go into the root system, then you can find all this, all this gold, all this magic if you just dig a little bit deeper. Now, this also applies to any person. If you just dig a little bit deeper beyond the surface, you can find out what the cause is and then you can perform surgery on it and fix it and address it and then put new seeds down there. So important, plant the new seeds so you can get a new harvest. You are worthy of that new harvest, but you first have to understand that there's a problem in the root system. Like whatever that is that you want to address. Now, we talk about a lot of things on this channel. We talk about inspirational things. We, we do food reviews and such, but everything that I'm giving you here, everything that I'm giving you here is about self-development. It's about getting to your best self, getting to your happy place. But we have to do the work on ourselves. It's an everyday journey. It's not overnight. You know, you've been living 
30, 40, 50, 60 years on this earth. So you have all that in your root system. And you need to go into it and address what's causing problems if there's any serious problems in the root system because you've been dealing with your root system 30 40 50 60 years and the thing is stop it now and don't pass it to the next generation let's give them a better root system to come off of let's let's show them that there are better roots in the ground you know what i'm saying and the better roots in the ground are going to just show in you they're going to come to the surface and they're going to learn from that root system. Health-wise, mind, body, spirit, that's what we discuss on this channel. Okay? The root system. If you are constantly angry and yelling and lashing out, what's going on in the root system? Sometimes we look to blame others and we're quick to blame others. They made me mad. They pissed me off. But what is your part in that root system? Why did you react the way that you reacted? Look at the root system. Why are you sick? Why are you constantly have a cold or whatever? Look at the root system. Look what's going on inside, down in the ground, and start digging it up. Even, why are you happy? Look at the root system. Why are you successful? Look at the root system. My parents gave me seeds of success. Okay? I hope this video has been inspirational to you all and I hope that I'm doing somebody a justice on this channel here because if I help one person in life, then I've done my job. If somebody is able to rethink and reprioritize and reorganize their life and come up with new skills to get to that better life, whatever that may be for them, whatever you define as a better life for yourself, then I've done my job. That's my main purpose on this channel is to touch and inspire and motivate and have fun and push you to the next level to be able to think about everything that's going on and to be able to know that when you wake up, you have another chance to do it all over to get it right because we're the main ones that is that are beating ourselves up. We understand that there are going to be some people in the world that beat you up. But as long as you have done the work on yourself, then that person trying to beat you up does not matter. Okay? Do the work on yourself to get to your greater place. Help is available if you ask for it. Anything that you want is achievable. Anything that you need is available. And I'm here to talk to you. You can leave some comments below. A lot of people leave some comments below. And let's talk about it. Let's have the conversations. Let's talk about how you're getting to your better self. How you're getting to your greater life. And what tools you are using. Because not one person has all the answers. If you look at that other person as a reflection of yourself. You can learn something from everybody. And I remember um, when I went to um, a certain place. And I was getting my hair done. And me and my loctician were talking and there was another person there and said, don't learn this from them. You cannot learn that from them. And that's not true. You can learn something from everybody, whether it's good or bad. Do not just throw people away. Because they have some sort of value, good or bad. And whatever the bad things are, examine them and turn them into good things. Whatever was bad about um, your relationships Whatever was bad about it, turn it into a good thing because whatever bad you got from it, you can t tell somebody else your testimony and make it into good and teach them. That they're not the only ones that go down these certain roads. We all go down roads. We all have situations that come up. But every day is a chance to do it over. Every day is a chance to learn and to live and to inspire and to grow and to motivate and to live your best life life. I am challenging you to join the 365 day blessed challenge. If you can be blessed one day, if you can be blessed two days, if you can be blessed three days, you can be blessed 365 days of the year. All it takes is recognizing what that blessing is and growing on that. Okay. And as always, let's do this.